haven't, you know, normally had. Said because we're close. Said they tried to separate us into two schools and in our sophomore year. And I said it seems like at the post situation that's made us closer than uh, anything else was the fact that they, you know, tried to separate us. And and we got real close at Kokomo. And we got real close at Hayworth. And now we're all. No, I went to uh, Sycamore, at, but what happened was I went to Sycamore my seventh grade year, then I moved to the west side of town, and I m met up with Cindy. That was my downfall. Then I went to Pettit Park for a year, and then Lafayette. Was and then back up to Pettit Park, or did go Lafayette? No, they went to Lafayette, okay. yeah, because they were farther out west on Sycamore. Mm -hmm. I think it was like Phillips was uh, around the Phillips area right there, yeah. or the railroad tracks was a... Was a Look who I found here! <laughs> Hi, what are you doing? Okay. You're getting taller. We have, we have you think so? Or yeah. you're streaking? You used to be that tall. Yeah. Right? <laughs> She's growing up. I know. We were talking about uh, eating uh, when we would go home from school, and she never could find any good snack at my house to eat, you know. She and I, right I remember corner, when she, she, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was 1106 West Sycamore. She's 1106 West Superior. Yeah. So we were right through from each other. Yeah. And I remember when she reached 100 pounds, she calls over to my house, and she's jumping up and down and everything. And she's tied in there. Hey, John, I finally reached 100 pounds and all this kind of stuff. We thought, you bitch. And then we, and we said, and I'm yelling across the table, but it ain't in her boobs. It ain't in her boobs. Yeah, it's like my birthday card I got. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well. You don't have that. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, if I need to find out Kathy, yeah, I'm supposed to say a few words or something. So. She was over here by the door. Tom's Tom? husband. Arnie Tom Reed. is the one that recorded onto the cassette tape My Master oh, on the Real from Real. Earthwork? Yeah, from yeah. Earth, Earthwork. The, 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 it turned out great. Well, turned, we've made a copy from it, and I've been using that to make more tapes on it. Oh, yeah, that was I've had, I had to stop. Great. I had to stop the Real to Real. Like every song, oh, I can... to clean it, clean the head because there's so much stuff coming so dirty, out. Right. Oh yeah, I couldn't believe it. it was, yeah. Well, you know, I was talking to Spider last night. He was with us. He set that whole thing up in Peru for us to do that little recording session. So we was at Debbie's last That's night. And I was talking to him. The band. I mean, there's no pictures. And no got, other yeah, we have one picture of us like standing in Chris and Roger's backyard in front of a doghouse. But not uh, of the whole so band when you guys got but it. But not even of the whole band. Yeah. No. Uh, and uh, but there's nothing, no recordings or anything like that. I said, well, that's good. <laughs> we have eyewitnesses. Well, Artie plays. He's been playing for about 30 or so years. He plays keyboards and yeah. does recording on CDs of local uh, talent and uh, stuff like that. Hey, good evening. Can I, can I borrow you from it? Sure can. <laughs> I need to take this back up to camp. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you play in the band? No. Ever? Did you, you know, set up and record that at your house? No, I just I just knew all of them. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Lucky you, right, Tom? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I've heard the band was pretty good, you know, in its heyday. I don't. Oh yeah. Wasn't too yeah. bad. I didn't think. I used to carry their equipment. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> did they have a lot of equipment? Seemed like it at the time. Yeah. Because yeah. I was carrying it. Well, they always had the attic. You know. And you had a, yeah, that's right. You had what you needed. Yeah. My cord didn't work, you know. <laughs> I messed around for 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, see, I've, okay, I've run okay. bands all my life, and, and that's my thing. Is okay. I, I have a PA system and a light system, and it's like it's a big deal to set up for a gig, you know. I know people don't realize they just come to the clubs and listen and party and, you know, think, well, that's what they do. But, you know, they don't realize that you yeah, got Yeah, at 5 o'clock in the morning, the sun's coming up, you're still taking the equipment That's out. right. Oh, right. Four-hour gig, it's at least four hours of preparation and traveling and unpacking and packing. And everything. Yeah, it helps fix for you in this way. Yeah. Yeah.